the ear for mycological madness. Today I get an education in puffballs. So here's what I found. Mom found this one in her garden. It's about the size of a softball, very squishy, brown on the outside. And when we cracked it open, beautiful white fleshy on the inside. Tasted very nutty. Nice soft surface. And then, as I'm walking out back to the greenhouses, I see this cute little guy. Very similar. Skin's a little different. Looks more like a toad. It's yellow. And I cracked this one open. Very clearly different. Doesn't quite look like something I'd want to eat. It's almost purple and brown. From what I'm figuring, this is the poisonous one. The shell is harder on the outside, and the smell is still kind of nutty, but it has this acrid lemon nail polish remover undertone to it. And that to me means don't eat it. Definitely a poisonous puffball. And these little guys, not really sure what they are. They have a very innocuous, nutty smell. They taste delicious, but since I didn't really know what it was, I only had a tiny piece about the size of my pinky nail or less off of a cap. It's been about an hour. Not really feeling any stomach pain, so I'm thinking I'm okay. Probably won't eat any more of these unless I can identify them. So, what wonderful mushroom fun for this September day. Looking forward to more of those. I hope more grow at Mom's house.